Hi, there are a few of you that have some questions regarding how to go about starting to fill out your primary service area analysis. So I thought I'd make this little video to share with you. We'll uh, hopefully help you get started. So I'm just gonna pop over, I'm gonna share my screen um, so that we can walk through this together. Okay, so we're gonna start with, um, and hopefully you can see this, we're gonna start with our, uh, our county data set. So Niagara County 2005 data set. Um, the way the, the um, Excel file is set up is it's already got a, a pivot table there for you. And what we want to know is right now we have, um, if we go through, I've, um, I've dragged in, let me just open up here to, um, we'll make sure that we pull up our field pivot table field list. And this is basically what's going to help us um, do our analysis. So the key pieces here, PFI, Permanent Facility Indicators, up at the top, and that is a listing of essentially, again, all of the facilities, um, patient care facilities, all of the hospitals have number designated to them, PFI. For all of the residents in Niagara County, these are all of the different hospitals that residents of Niagara County uh, went to for care in 2005. So in this analysis, we wanna know for Lockport Memorial Hospital specifically, what is their primary service area analysis? So we have to do two things. We have to understand for um, Niagara County residents, how many of those Niagara County residents received their care from Lockport Memorial Hospital, and we wanna pick out the top zip codes, and then we wanna look at those same top zip codes, and we wanna see for all residents in, in those, those top five zip codes, where, did they, where else did they receive care, and how many total discharges were there? And that's gonna give us an idea of what Lockport Memorial's, Lockport Memorial's uh, market share is, and then we can do our 2% and 85% Q market analysis as well, which is just another way of looking at the data to help us try to figure out what is our primary service area. So again, if we're gonna click on the pivot table here, the first thing we wanna do is, and I had selected all of these, we actually wanna go back, we wanna deselect all, and we only wanna select Lockport, uh, Lockport Memorial Hospital, and that is, uh, Lockport's PFI is 5654. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to go back to, um, we're going to actually go on our row labels um, and we're going to select all of the three digit zip codes here. Um, again, the Sparks, uh, the Sparks data oftentimes is um, uh, for our course project, we have all five um, digits in our zip code, which is great, but they do like for, you know, purposes of sharing the information broadly, they narrow it down to just three digit zip codes. It helps protect patient identities in the event that there was a really specific um, patient discharge. It helps prevent you from being able to figure out who a potential patient is. So anyways, okay, so the way we have the data structured here too, and we also have another column label um, for service category, and we know we're just looking at medical and surgical discharges, which correspond with um, one and two. That's um, medical and surgical. So we, again, are going to look at now, these are all of the discharges that happened in uh, Lockport Memorial from Niagara County residents. And you can see here all of the different zip codes, but what we see specifically is that we see these five, dis, um, these five zip codes are most important. That's where the vast majority of our patients are coming from. Uh, zip code 140, 141, 142, 143, 144. So what we would do if, we're, if we jump over to our, to our template for our primary service area analysis, and let me just make sure I can share this with you. Okay, so now when we look at this, we're just gonna take those, those zip codes. So we have one, uh, 140, 141, 142, 143, and 144. We can just stop with those. So of our analysis of Niagara County, we're looking again just at Lockport Memorial Hospital, which is the, um, which is the PFI 5456. So when we sort the data, we see that we had a total of 3,031 discharges um, from zip code 140. We had 309 coming from 144 and so on and so forth. So you're gonna go through, I'm not gonna do all of this, go through and fill all of this out. Now I'm gonna hop back to our other spreadsheet for Niagara County. And now when we're looking at this, the other piece that we want to include is um, all of those, all of those uh, 
the discharges that happened within Niagara County that didn't come from these. So those are going to be our other service areas that we're not going to analyze, but we still want to capture how many discharges came from those other, those other zip codes. So the easy way to do this is we're just going to go back in here into our sorters. We're going to um, say, let's do a select all, and we're going to deselect those zip codes that we just pulled into our service area analysis, 140, 141, 142, 143, and 144. We're going to exit out of here. And that's going to tell us that in total, there were 59 total medical and surgical discharges um, happening from zip codes other than those five that we included in our analysis. Okay, so now that helps us figure out at least that first column in our, in our primary service area um, analysis. The next step we're going to do is we'll go back into um, up here and we want to look again now we're not just looking at Lockport Memorial we want to understand how many discharges happened in Niagara County um, irrespective of the hospital they went to so we're gonna go back we're gonna select and say we want to look at all all different hospitals and we're gonna show again let's go back and we'll do select all of our our zip codes and again this is gonna let us scroll down and we again see that um, it looks like, you know, these, these five zip codes, they had more discharges than any other, um, any other zip codes in Niagara County. So we're going to pick up these, um, these five here. So remember now 140, the total number of discharges um, or patient visits over the course of the year 2005, medical and surgical were 8,065. So if we go back to our PSA analysis. Let me make sure I've got the right. Okay, so we come back here. We are going to be putting for 140, the total discharges from that zip code were 8065, and from 141 it was 7500. Okay, again, I'm not going to go through and do all this. I want to make sure that you can still do this analysis and get a chance to practice on your own. And then in order to use these 2% caseload, um, basically all you'd be doing here is you're going to do equal. We want to look at the proportion of Lockport Memorial discharges from this zip code divided by the total discharges. That's going to be our value here. And for the 2% caseload, um, Approach, basically anything that has more than 2% of the, the total caseload is what you would consider to be a primary service area um, for your facility. And the cumulative, you basically just take those, those caseloads and continue to add them up. Um, and then 10% market share is calculated by taking uh, the number of discharges from your hospital from that zip divided by the total number of discharges from that zip code. So in this case, um, from zip code 140, um, Lockport Memorial had 37.5% uh, of the total market share for medical and surgical uh, inpatient care, and that would exceed our 10% cutoff. So yes, in this case, we'd highlight that cell and say yes, that is, um, in this case, that zip code is part of our primary service area analysis. So hopefully this will help shore up some of those questions you may have. If you have additional questions, please let me know.